The path of a satellite orbiting the Earth causes it to pass directly over two tracking stations A and B, which are 56 miles apart. When the satellite is on one side of the two stations, the angles of elevation at A and B are measured to be 86.9 degrees and 83.5 degrees, respectively. How far is a satellite from station A, and how high is a satellite above the ground? So looking at our diagram, the tracking stations are at point A and point B, which are 56 miles apart. Therefore, the length of this segment here is 56 miles. The angle of elevations from station A and station B, which should be this angle and this angle, are given as 86.9 degrees and 83.5 degrees. Our goal is to determine how far the satellite is from station A, which should be the length of this segment, or this side of a triangle, and also how high the satellite is above the ground, which would be the length of this side, or this segment here. Notice how we do have two overlapping right triangles here, where this should be the right angle, and therefore we can determine this small acute angle here. The two acute angles of a right triangle are complementary, or at 90 degrees, and therefore 90 minus 86.9 is equal to 3.1, so the measure of this angle is 3.1 degrees. So let's find all the information we can before we try to find the lengths of these two sides. Next one is how these two angles form a straight angle, and therefore they're supplementary and add to 180 degrees. And 180 minus 86.9 is 93.1, so the measure of this angle is 93.1 degrees. Now looking at this obtuse triangle, we know the sum of the interangles must be 180 degrees. So the measure of this small acute angle here would be equal to 180 minus 83.5 minus 93.1, which is equal to 3.4 degrees. Again, our goal is to find the length of these two sides. Let's call the length of this side D, the length of this side H. Because we have the length of this side of this obtuse triangle, let's begin by focusing on this obtuse triangle here. Notice how we have the measure of each interior angle, and we have the length of this side here, which is 56 miles. Therefore, we can find the length of D using the law of sines. Using the angle that's opposite the side of known length, we can say sine of 3.4 degrees divided by the length of the opposite side, which is 56 miles, must equal we're trying to find the length of side D. Notice how the angle opposite side D would be this angle here that measures 83.5 degrees. So we can say equals sine 83.5 degrees divided by D. This gives us an equation with one unknown, so now we can cross multiply and solve for D. Let's go ahead and do this on the next slide. We'd have D times sine 3.4 degrees must equal 56 times sine 83.5 degrees. So again, D sine 3.4 degrees must equal 56 sine 83.5 degrees. So to solve for D, we'll divide both sides by sine 3.4 degrees. Notice how this simplifies to D, which is equal to this quotient, which will approximate using the calculator. Let's first make sure we are in degree mode, so we'll press the mode key. Notice how we are in degree mode. So go back to the home screen, and we'll enter 56 sine 83.5 degrees in parentheses, divided by sine 3.4 degrees which gives us approximately 938.18 miles. So this is the answer to the first question. 
So going back to our sketch, this would be how far the satellite is from station A. Now from here we can find H using right triangle trigonometry because notice how if we focus on this green right triangle, we know the measure of this angle, which is 86.9 degrees. We don't know the opposite side, but now we do know the hypotenuse, and therefore we can use the sine function to find H. Again, using this green right triangle, we can say that sine 86.9 degrees must equal the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which would be H divided by the length we just found, which was approximately 938.18. But because we'll have to round again, let's go ahead and find this value to four decimal places. So if we go back to the calculator, let's use 938.1795 instead. And now we'll solve this equation for H in order to find how high the satellite is from the ground. And again, let's do this on the next slide. Notice how I did change this to an approximation sign because this is a rounded value. Now to solve for H, we would multiply both sides of the equation by 928.1795. Notice how on the right, this simplifies nicely to H. And now we'll approximate this product on the calculator. Because we already have this value in the calculator though, we can just press times. Notice how this brings up the previous answer. And now we'll multiply by sine 86.9 degrees. which gives us a height of approximately 936.81 miles. So going back to our sketch one last time, we just determined the height of the satellite to be approximately 936.81 miles. This is miles and so is this. I hope you found this helpful.